to see. We're going to see. Because I find out that a lot of times we don't know what's really going on. And I want you to go ahead and if you have a dollar in your wallet, look at that dollar and look on it and see some stuff that's on there. And I want to ask you to, to, to ask yourself the question, why is that on our money? Why is that on our dollar? Amen. Why? On one place it says, in God we trust. Uh -huh. But there's some other stuff on there. Ephesians chapter 6. And when God starts showing me what this scripture really means. Verses 10 through 13. He says, finally, my brothers, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Mm -hmm. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Verse 12 is the key verse. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. I want to have you understand what's going on, what time it is. Amen. Because once you understand it, you can realize how critical it is to be in the will of God and stay in the will of God. Amen. Amen. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. We know that. We've we read the scripture for years. But it tells us what we are wrestling against. Principalities, powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. I ask you to look on your dollar. Some of you already know what's on there. If you'll notice, there's a pyramid. If you'll notice at the top of the pyramid, there's an eye, a big eye. The devil calls it the all-seeing eye. We know there's only one that has an all-seeing eye. That's God himself. But this is representative of the devil's system. See, his earthly system is a pyramid. And in that pyramid, Satan literally sits at the top. He has a chair that he sits there and he gives orders to those inside that pyramid. You got the, uh, you got the council, you got the, uh, first of all, there's two families. That are satanic families for generations. You got the uh, Rothschilds. You got the Rockefellers. Most of us have heard of Rockefeller. Because uh, at one time he was known as the richest man in the world. But what they do, the, the Rothschilds own the world bank. So Satan gives orders to those down in the triangle. And it trickles on down. You got the council. You got the uh, council of 13. You got the council of 33. You have all of these different things. Then it comes on down to the bottom. And I might not even want to say this because a lot of people don't want to, won't believe it. But you got the Freemasons, you got all these things. What they do, they draw people in through the scriptures. They make them feel like they're doing a good deed. But once you reach a certain level, that's when they really show you what's really going on. You can be a 33 degree Mason, and you can buy. If you got money, you can buy your way up there. They don't care. Long as you, long as you, you go along with the system, but the system is satanic. That's why you have that eye on your dollar. It represents the Illuminati, means the illuminated ones. It's amazing how God foretold us and foreshowed us of how things are going to work in the future. But we're living in that time where all of these things are in the place. They, they put uh, people in the office. They control presidents, they control Hollywood, they control all of that stuff, but guess who they don't control? God. And since they don't control God, they don't control the people of God. Amen. Oftentimes when the devil means something bad, God will turn it around for your good. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's why they were so upset when they could only do certain things. And then they, 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 they couldn't do anything else. It's because God is hindering them. But God has a plan for our lives. And in, in that thing, a lot of times we see our children uh, doing these hand symbols. And what they're doing, they don't know what they're doing. They just see the celebrities doing it. They have no clue what's really going on. But in that triangle, in that pyramid, 
It's the whole thing is satanic. And in that, during that thing, when you come down, you find just common people that have gotten caught up, but they have no clue what where, where lies ahead. I, I saw a, 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 a young nephew the other day flashing the, the devil in Where did he get it from? Stars, celebrities. They're doing that stuff, but what it is, they sold their soul to the enemy. And when they did that, there was a contract. I had a guy call me, brother, from uh, from Detroit. Left a message on my answer machine. And guess what he said? I think I sold my soul to the devil. He said, I need help. He said, I think I, this is real. That's why I'm pointing this out, because God, people need to know what time it is and what's really going on. He said, I think I sold my soul. I began to say, explain, brother. You know, he began to give me all kinds of details of, of the things that were going on in his life and how He's under the money for tax and this, that, and the other. Talks about weird stuff that's going on in his life. And uh, thank God, though, the name of Jesus overrides everything. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. And the next day he texted me. He said, uh, I need you to pray with me. So I got him on the telephone and began to pray. And I told him, you got to renounce everything that you think Amen. you might have done. Thank Every you. contract. Thank you. See, they tricked him into signing a blood contract and he didn't realize what he was doing. Thank you, Lord. But what happened was he became possessed with evil spirits. Thank you, Jesus. And that's what began to pray. I could sense it over the telephone. That's way in Detroit now. Every time, every time a, a, a spirit would come up to the top, and I would cast it out in Jesus' name, I could feel it. I know it was so Thank you, Jesus. And it would growl or it would snarl, and it would go boom. Then that was another one. That was a bunch of them that came out of here. A lot of times we pick up stuff and we don't know what we're picking up That's because right. you think you can just safely go on the internet and nothing's gonna happen. Amen. I showed a, a pastor. Uh, something that happened to this young man over the internet. A lot of times our young people are looking for spiritual enlightenment. Y'all remember when the, when, uh, when the, the devil tempted Jesus? Mm -hmm. When he was fasting and praying for 40 days and the devil tempted him? And he took him to the high mountain and he offered him all of these different things. Mm -hmm. He said, if you worship me, I'll give you this. If you worship me, I'll give you that. I'll give you this. He still used the same tricks today, but people are following for it. Thank you, Jesus. He knew what to do. He, he put the word on it. Yes. We got to know what to do. Thank yes. The word on it. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He came to work. He was uh, like 21 years old. And I noticed things start, strange things start happening. All of a sudden, he had these strange power. And he thought he had a healing gift. He thought he had, he could read people's spirit. And he asked me, he said, what do you know about third eye meditation? I'm getting back to the eye. He said, about the eye, third eye meditation. I told him, that's, that's the devil, that's the enemy. You don't want to mess with that. That's what he had already done. And so I'm like, okay. I said, you need to be saved. Thank you, Lord. Some people, when you tell them they need to be saved, they're ready. And this young man was ready to be saved. So. Amen. I laid hands on him and began to pray. The power of God came on him in the jars, but I had to finish it somewhere else. So I took him and I baptized him in Jesus' name. But when I put him in the water, uh -huh. see, I got the video show nothing but him being baptized. But the steel pictures, the steel pictures show some things that some people may not even want to hear about. Thank you, Lord. He had a foot. Did I show you that? He had a foot about that long like a werewolf. Now, his feet are not like that. This was the spiritual danger that we're dealing with mm -hmm. from these people. And yeah. God wants his people to know what time it is. Yeah. Amen. These things are happening for people and people, uh, to people for real. Yeah. Amen. And we got to have the power and authority to deal with this stuff and to help these people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to know God like never before. Yes. What if I had known God and he came to me for help? I couldn't have did a thing. Mm -hmm. Probably got in trouble myself. But it's the fact that what you're wrestling with 
is real. Yes. The Bible says the devil is going to and fro on yes. the earth. Seeking whom he may, may devour. devour. He's looking for a weak link. Yes. Guess where he's focusing at first? In the church. That's right. He already got them. Uh -huh. But what he want to do is get you. Amen. And if he can't get you one way, guess what? He'll find another way. Yes. That's why we, it's so important for us to be prayed up. Amen. Fasted up. Amen. In the word. Like never before. And realize that we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. We're wrestling against some forces that are, are dangerous. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And, 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 and you got to understand that God has invested something in you to counter everything that the devil does. That's so right. You Thank you, Lord. Power, if you got the Holy Ghost, you got the power to, to overcome. That's yeah. right. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. In Acts chapter 19, when the sons of Sceva, the exorcist, they tried to cast out the evil spirit. Right. Guess what the devil said? <laughs> the devil said, Jesus I know. And Paul, I know, but who are you? Who are you? Does he know who you are? Thank you, Lord. Call somebody. You. you got to make sure the devil knows who you are and fears every time you come around and respect you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Who Thank are you? Thank you, Lord. You got to make sure the devil knows who you are. Why did the devil say Jesus I know? And Paul I know. But who are you? And the Bible says... The man who the spirit was on leaped on them and beat them. They ran out of their clothes, getting out of there. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with real spirits. Amen. We're dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. Thank you, Lord. How many know who Prince was? The entertainer? Amen. How come the Simpsons in 2009 foretold Prince being murdered? It was on a cartoon. First of all, the person that owns the Simpsons is a, a Illuminati member. They plan these things ahead of time, and then they get rid of their body before you can, before they can examine them and prove what happened to them. Same thing with Mike. I'm giving y'all some information. That's all I'm. I ain't preaching today. I'm giving y'all some information. How come y'all remember when Michael had that dispute? with the, uh, the record industry. And then when he came back, he said, I won. Then he messed around and called that man a, a, a devil. Next thing you know, he was gone. These things are happening, spiritual wickedness in high places. These things are happening. These people have, have control over certain things, but they don't have control over the church. Thank you, Lord. They don't have control over the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. You can pray. Brother and sister, change the situation. Amen. Amen. You can pray. You can instill the word of God and turn the situation around. Yeah. You may not. See, that's the problem. A lot of times we don't realize the power that God has invested in us. Yeah. Yeah. We don't realize that, and the devil depends on us not to realize. Mm -hmm. I always use the scenario. What about a portion? You can have a portion in a Volkswagen Beetle. You can have on the line the drag race. Once the green light goes, the portion ain't cranked up. But the Volkswagen Beetle is ready to run. Once the light on green, that Beetle is going to get to the finish line first because the Porsche ain't even cranked up. All that power was sitting there, and it ain't doing nothing. That's what we have. To, we have all that power invested in us. Yes. But we, power, but we don't know how to use it. Thank you, Jesus. We don't understand. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God said you can heal the sick. You can cleanse the lepers. You can raise them. All of these things, but until you grasp it, until you grasp it, it's no good. Yeah. Amen. God showed me something, and I start putting it to use, and people start, start seeing more miracles, more signs and wonders because God had allowed me to grasp Thank what it meant. Thank you. Amen. You know, the Bible says, Jesus said, according to your faith, be it unto you. Amen. And, 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 and what he showed me was that uh, the lady with this your blood, for example, according to her faith, she received her miracle. Amen. Her faith was this. She said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment. See, if I can, if I can just, Thank you, Lord. I know I'll be made whole. Thank you, Lord. So what happened? She set out to do it. Faith without works is what? Dead. Dead. Being alone. But that was the works. She put her works <coughs> with her faith. 
And she Thank reached out. Lord. She did what it took to get there. Yeah, Lord. She had to fight her way through the crowd. Thank she had, she was weak. She had lost all that blood all that period of time. But she had her mind made up. This yeah, is my yeah. faith. Thank if you, I can touch the hem of his yeah. garment, I'll be made. And the Bible says immediately. Amen. Verse one out of him. Thank you, and she was healed. Yes. But guess what? He was on his way to the ruler's house at the time when she came behind him and touched him. Uh -huh. Because he had came to Jesus and said, uh, he said, Lord, I'm not worthy, but if you go to my house and pray for my daughter, I know everything will be all right. Thank you, Lord. So Jesus, okay, that's your faith, so I'm going. Uh -huh. That's why he was headed. Uh -huh. He was headed to her house. Because that's what the man's faith was. If you just go. Right. Yeah. I know this Thank is what's going to happen. Amen. Mama got her blessing while he was on the way. When he got to the house, the girl had died. But the fact that the man's faith was honored. Now, this is the faith that Jesus marveled at when the man told him, he says, uh, I'm not worthy, but if you just speak the word only. Uh -huh. yeah. Just speak the word only. That was his faith. If you just speak the word, Thank you, Lord. I'll be healed. And so God is honoring his word that we know how to tap into. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Thank you, Lord. If you know how to operate in the word of God, you'll see God work. Amen. You'll see God doing a miracle. Who wants to pray for an aunt? My wife had an aunt 107 years old. Thank you. And bless God, she had a right mind all the way up until the end. Thank but you. when we went in there, she was laying in the bed. And we noticed she kept jerking, convulsing. I have the word, the best way to describe it. She kept convulsing. And God didn't tell either one of us to pray for her here. Sometimes that we know we, you know, you know what God wants you to do. Yeah. He didn't tell us to pray for her here. But my wife said, uh, maybe if we go pray for her, uh, God will give her peace. Yeah. And God had just gave me that lesson according to <coughs> your faith. Yeah. Be it done. Yeah. Went over there. And she was convulsing. And I I made my mind, I said, I'm, I'm going, when I lay hand on her, begin to pray, I said, God, God, God don't move. Thank you. And, and, and bless God, went over there and whispered up a prayer. And then I heard the Holy Ghost say, peace be still. Jesus. So I spoke what I heard the Holy Ghost say. Peace be still. Thank Guess what happened? All of a sudden, she had to die. Amen. And it didn't happen again. And my, my nephew, Willis, he said, everybody saw that. That was a miracle. Thank you. God is trying to get us to understand how to operate in his spirit and his power. Yeah. Because once you get, once you grasp that, you'll see things start to happen. Yeah. You'll see things, you'll see things start, mountains start to move. You'll see things, and, 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 and what I'm saying, I'm trying to bring it together. When you come against the enemy, don't be afraid of the enemy. Yeah. The Lord never told us to be afraid of the devil. He's supposed to be afraid of us. Yeah. But until you grasp that, until you understand that, he's just going to laugh at you. He's going to say, who are you? Are y'all getting that? Yeah. He's going to say, who are you? But the thing is, sometimes you, the church is going to be called upon to deal with these things. Sometimes you have to cast out demons. Yeah. Sometimes you're going to have to pray for the sick. Sometimes you have to pray for people's deliverance. Yeah. But do you know? That the kingdom of heaven is here. Yeah. Once you learn how to decree and declare yeah. according to what God see what it is, heaven backs us up. Amen. When we understand and when we learn how to operate in faith, heaven backs us up. Amen. That's when you'll see things start to happen. Amen. You'll see God moving. You'll see when to pray for uh, uh, some friend's daughter. He didn't even know what had happened to her. She was in the hospital. They couldn't diagnose her. They couldn't find her wrong. And one of her hands was like this, and she had a knot on her arm. And uh, they called me to come and pray for her. They went in there and prayed for her. And the Lord loosed her right there. And the Lord Thank showed me, he said, grab her hand. And tell her to start working. And when her hand came open like that, everything else was healed too. She started moving everything. Then find out later that not had disappeared too. That was Thank, on you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's the kingdom of heaven that's invested in us. Thank you, Jesus. Us. Thank you, Jesus. It's in you. If you got the Holy Ghost, it's in you. Yes. Hallelujah. Not everybody has the same gift and calling, but you still have the same Holy Ghost. That's yeah. right. God are you, they come, the Bible never tells us that Stephen was a preacher. 
But it did say, because of his great faith, amen, God worked mighty miracles through him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They stoned him to death, but they couldn't deny the power that was working in him. That's right. That power was working in him. Thank you, Father. The anointing will teach you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm praying for that little boy. That's the anointing leading you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Leading you to pray for that little boy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hasha. Koshana de Yasita. Hada de Yasita. Koshita. Thank you, Jesus. Hola de Yasata. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise him right now for a moment. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, praise your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, la 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah, Lord. 
Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank